Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin. Take a look at where we're headed here because we've been seeing some big moves to the downside because of the news that's happening in the world. I want to talk a little bit more about the macroeconomics of the world and why I think it's affecting Bitcoin and where I think we'll be headed here next. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $63,782 up about 3% on the day, bouncing off of that nice capitulation wick to the downside. After basically mass panic of everyone freaking out, thinking that uh, there's going to be a huge worldwide conflict. But we are seeing a little bit of a bounce here. Lots of altcoins took a massive beating, down 50%, 60%, some of them. Bitcoin dominance trading at 54.38%, down a little bit since yesterday. When you exclude stablecoins... Trading at about 56.38%. We did reach that 57% Bitcoin dominance level yesterday, which was quite exciting to see. I think that that still is on the table. I think that we do still see Bitcoin dominance rally up around the halving, whether that's a month after the halving, two months after. Whenever Bitcoin really decides to make that larger move to the upside, you're going to see Bitcoin dominance rally. I think that 60% is kind of the peak in my mind. I don't think that we get above that, but I think around that number for Bitcoin dominance is on the table, and that's kind of my target of where I'm looking at. But I want to know, guys, in the comment section down below, did any of you guys buy the dip yesterday? Because I did. I bought some Jupiter, been looking into scaling into some other coins, but Jupiter has been basically the main coin that I've purchased, which is an aggregator on Solana, which basically finds all the best prices when it comes to swapping a coin on the Solana chain with another coin. And it goes through Jupiter, which is an aggregator, and you get the best price. Jupiter finds the best price. I bought a big, big bag on a dump when it reached underneath a dollar. I am buying some more Solana right now, buying some more Ethereum. But all in all here, guys, these dips are for buying. Don't get shaken out. Let's take a look at the charts here. So right now, guys, Bitcoin came down right onto the support it wicked down to 61,000 i even saw a wick down a little bit lower on some other exchanges almost to that high 59,000 but over here we're looking at 61,000 we came all the way down to we wicked up but look at that bought back up into the support and we're still on it i think that there's still room for this to come down a little bit more but that being said big big important thing to keep in mind here guys this is a higher low we still have not broken market structure we're looking in the daily right now things are cooling off people are saying well what about the large pre-having correction back in 2019 when we had the pandemic crash what about seeing something like that play out again and it is really interesting thinking about that because i was around when that was happening and really, you can't really compare that to what's happening right now where everyone got spooked because there's some war. There's some fighting going on in the world. There's some conflicts. And people, you'll see people on crypto Twitter acting like this is going to be, it's over. It's all over. Guys, this is, this is nothing. The, the pandemic crash, when you zoom out here, was... Um, <laughs> Five times worse than what we saw. I mean, look at this little, little, tiny, little blip here. And you zoom back here and you just see, wham! Just big, big to the downside. 50% loss on Bitcoin within the period of three weeks. I remember back when we saw this, and also the S&P 500 was taking a huge nosedive. Everything was coming down. Everybody was panicking. People really thought that, well, this is it. It's, the world's over. It was it was absolutely crazy. And in my mind, when that happened, well, I bought. I bought that dip because I said, well, if the world's over, might as well risk it because it's probably not going to be over. And the S&P 500 performs well. The market always moves to the upside. Money printing always continues. So I bought Bitcoin. I bought more stocks. I layered in very, very heavy. Heavier than I've ever layered in in my entire life, to be honest with you, when we saw that covid crash but guys you zoom out to right now where people are starting to act like oh that's 
that's going to happen here. That's going to happen here. Guys, uh, that, that's not going to happen. It would require some big, big, big catastrophic news to happen. And even if it is around a conflict, I know you guys don't want to hear this, but it's bullish for the markets. It's bullish. And I don't want anybody out there uh, rooting for that to happen. But when you talk about markets and you, you isolate the markets, it is a bullish thing for economies. It is a bullish thing for stocks and crypto Risk on assets, maybe you'll be a little shaky in the beginning, but I think that Bitcoin may be kind of somewhat of a safe haven when you look at it as this market has matured, as crypto has matured. But that being said, guys, do I think we're going to see a 50% Bitcoin crash right here? No, I, I really don't. And and you know what? Until we spill over below the $63,000 and we see daily candle closes, weekly candle closes, Guys, this is a higher high. These altcoins are getting wrecked. This is a huge opportunity. I'm layering in significantly. Even though I have already been very, very exposed since the bottom of this bear market I was buying in, right now is a great opportunity to start buying into some altcoins because these altcoins are finally taking a beating. We're seeing Bitcoin dominance rally. There's a chance there. Not financial advice. I do think that altcoins could take a little bit more of a beating here. But if Bitcoin stays above this 59,000, 61,000, this is a very good buying opportunity. This market structure is still intact. The trend is your friend, guys. We look over at the weekly. I mean, we're still above the 60 on market cipher. It's still looking good. We're seeing our first red candle close. The bull market's still on. The trend is still going. There's opportunities, guys. But if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Also, check out some awesome referral links down below. We have in the description box in this video a $4,100 sign-in bonus to Femex. All you got to do is click a link, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 333 Z. I'm very active over there. Just do some giveaways here and there. Give away $100 with a crow uh, about a week ago. But, um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't panic. I really believe that there are some massive, massive opportunities here to buy some of these altcoins. Not financial advice. Just my opinion. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm buying some altcoins. But that's all I got for you. See you in the next one. Bye.